first of all welcome to college anchor and so we i am here that is omkar matpati and i am your uh, web development lead but today's session will be okay okay sorry sorry for the interruption yeah so i am the web development lead from the college anchor but uh, i am uh, quite bit busy right now so sarthak will be taking the session of today's uh, web development live okay so hope you all contribute uh, to this session and i thought uh, i think that uh, this session will be not one sided so we have to be uh, the session in uh, is two sided okay so sarthak you can start now yeah If you have any queries, then you can put it uh, into the inbox. Okay, so we will be solving them. Hello, everyone. I'm audible. Yeah, yes, you are audible, sir. Okay. So, uh, welcome everyone to the College Rankers Internship uh, Program and Web Development Bootcamp for. Uh, and to know the uh, introduce and uh, to know the uh, how to become a web developer so uh, so uh, let's take a journey for our web development uh, so what we are learning uh, today so uh, we are learning today how to how the website work then what is a web development what is a html css and javascript then we will be seeing web development we will be doing uh, one project on web development then we will be seeing what is uh, github and uh, what is and uh, we will be hosting our uh, that project on our wait a minute okay so we will be hosting our uh, we, uh, the our project on um, github pages then we will be seeing uh, what is a uh, what are the web development frameworks then then Uh, web developer responsibilities and roadmap and resources to the web development so hi everyone my name is sarthak karpande i am a full stack developer and i work at the college ranker uh, uh, as a chief technical officer and i ha- I, I manage all the uh, resources and uh, web development uh, development things uh, at college ranker so the uh, so okay now uh, i think uh, we i think we used to start uh, our journey to the web development so but first a little bit about uh, uh, the web so what is web uh, any and if you want to interact with me uh, you can use chat box or yes yes sir so the okay, uh, there is one interruption between that hello 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 sir the can you s- increase your uh, voice means uh, just put the mic uh, okay your voice is little bit low yeah okay fine this is now clear yeah 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 now it's clear okay so first i uh, will see how, what is a uh, what is a uh, what is website what is a web development so anyone please uh, can you share me uh, share with me in the chat uh, what is web development what you think what is website or anything about web yes all can just put messages if you don't want to talk here okay website is collection of files i uh, okay okay yeah great great any another responses or uh, we can go ahead yeah so uh, uh, that's correct uh, uh, website is a collection of uh, pages or some files or something uh, we can uh, we can see so uh, it is uh, used to uh, it is a, uh, it is a website uh, website is used to share uh, our uh, our content with uh, to the whole world anyone can just po- uh, sh- share the link and they they will might get Uh, all the resources on their uh, browser so uh, that's the website so what happens when you type a url and hit enter so when uh, when whenever you put uh, anything on 
uh, whenever you put uh, any address or web URL onto the browser so what happens uh, we will see here so uh, let's try uh, Raju made a fantastic web page and he wants to share uh, that web page with the world so what he can do uh, he can host that website on uh, any server and that server uh, he will link that domain uh, what uh, whatever the domain is that he can link it with the uh, server so anyone with the domain name and its link uh, and can share can view its web page so we will see what's uh, what is the next thing so whenever uh, we, uh, we put our code on web page on a computer that is always running so it has a great uh, internet connection all uh, 24 by 7 internet connection and it is always running so that computer uh, where we uh, where we put our web, uh, website uh, files and con uh, contents and folders all over the contents so that is called as server that computer is called as server and the uh, another computer uh, or the user which wants to uh, get that web page or that website is called as client so client can uh, can put the link in the browser and they hit enter so then the request goes to the goes to the server so all the computers uh, or, or all the so servers are having uh, addresses like they are called as ip addresses so they are having particular addresses like our email address so what what happens is that uh, when we hit any uh, domain then the ip address is uh, calculated by the dns server and the uh, and the request goes to that um, that server then when uh, we see that server is a server will get uh, a response back to the client so i would like to request this web page please so this client is uh, uh, sending request to the server that i want to view this page so when the uh, response is goes back to the server uh, to the client by the server so then uh, then what happens is that we see the our web page like when we uh, access any website or is use any website this thing is happening right now so also the this request is called as get request like we are si simply getting the web page or the content of the website from the server now uh, let's look at what we can see in that and we can uh, use it in the uh, google chrome or any browser so that's it uh, for uh, how the web works now what is web development so what is web development so that is the building sites and application for the world wide web so what is World Wide Web? The World Wide Web is a collection of uh, websites or every of of in the, in the all over the world. So wait a minute. I am getting hosts. Okay. So. So developers uh, who write the code for the website are called as web developers. So uh, there is uh, there are two types of web developers: front-end developers and back-end developers. So everyone knows that I think that front-end developers are uh, are developing code for the client side. So what is client side? That uh, when a browser inside the browser, what we see is uh, is the client side code and whatever we see on the uh, back end of the server that is what is happening what is what request are getting what uh, whatever the calculation is going on behind the request of uh, every user is uh, so for that we are using uh, we are uh, developing the code so that's called as back end development so the next thing is so we are focusing on the basics of front front end today so uh, we are looking at the uh, wait a minute is my slide freezed or uh, something it's yeah. visible but it's freezed there yeah. i think it's freezed now it's fine here
get visible right yes so developers who write code for the uh, client side uh, client it's called as front end development and the the request are the, the all the things happening for the uh, uh, from the request and the calculation behind the every request is uh, handled by the server and that that uh, the, that part of the web development is called as backend development so uh, you can see the job profiles of the in the market that some are front end developers required some are backend developers required and somewhere we can see that uh, full stack developers are required then the what a full stack developer is that front end and back end both the things has to be known by the full stack developer for that matter uh, the full stack developer works so we are going to be focusing on the first uh, basics of the fr front end so so we are clear now what is front end so the foundation of front end is uh, html css and javascript so uh, html and css and javascript so html is the script uh, scripting language css is also scripting language and javascript uh, sorry html is a markup language css and javascript are scripting languages so html is also called as the the ma markup language so html is like the uh, content of the page like uh, and the css is like a look and style of the page and javascript is like the engine of the play uh, of the car like so whatever uh, functions are happening is handled by the javascript and the designing part is handled by the css and html is the bone structure of the uh, website like uh, in it is a uh, an analogy is like uh, with human body is that html are html is the bones and javascript is the muscles and muscles and brain and the css is the uh, our skin and our clothes like that we can an analyze the uh, front end development so for the uh, for the beginners in the front end development you sh should have to know the basics of html css and javascript okay so what is html so html hypertext markup language so hypertext markup language uh, then uh, hypertext is means what hypertext is means uh, uh, links and uh, the text which refers to the another web page or uh, another uh, source of content so that thing is called as links so the hypertext is something uh, which is linking something so it is called as hypertext and markup what is markup markup uh, markup is used to design or uh, to uh, analyze the, um, uh, the or to modify the uh, syntax of the uh, text like uh, uh, like uh, we have to italics uh, use italics in the text or we have to emphasize or we have to uh, color the content or uh, or um, color the text of the uh, of the content uh, of the uh, of anything so like that uh, uh, it is called as markup so hypertext markup language similarly html is just uh, uh, just a text with extra tags so whatever inside the tag uh, tags sir your voice is breaking okay hello okay wait a minute Hello, Sardak. Uh, sorry for the interruption. Yeah. Just don't allow anyone. Okay, from above. Yeah, sure. It is now clear. Yeah, yeah, just don't allow. Yeah. Yeah, you are now. Yeah. So, so HTML is just a. Uh, text with extra tags so whatever inside the tag and it is defined by the it is now uh, whatever inside the tag is uh, uh, like if uh, if there is paragraph tag so we can see the paragraph uh, uh, and if we are using button so we can see the structure of button on the web page and if we are using emphasis tag then we can see it's so slightly italic text so whatever uh, so uh, property of the uh, html tag and we can put it uh, put in the content of the of that then the uh, then the markup will be happening with the text the tag describes the structure and the content of the page so let's write some html so we will be writing the uh, sorry. we will be writing some html after uh, at the time of uh, we will be uh, designing some small scale website at that time we will see how to write code uh, html but now we can see uh, how how to write html uh, so uh, so what these tags do so these tags are the like 
the first one is the paragraph tag so paragraph tag like i am paragraph and the paragraph tag is just to, to display the paragraph or text on the web page then ol tag ol tag um, ordered list so this uh, sir you are not audible hello okay sorry i was uh, don't know so okay so have you heard about markup so html is what html is just a uh, text with some extra tags so extra tags means what uh, whatever the text inside the tags then uh, it is uh, visible uh, means it is modified according to the tag tags so the tags is the structure and the content of the page like button so button is uh, uh, displayed on the web page with submit text and in in paragraph we can simply denote the text as it is so now uh, let's uh, we will write some html so we will be writing some html in the uh, project but we will see how to write html now so what are, what are the tags do so first one is the paragraph tag and the in paragraph tag we are uh, writing some text and it will be shown as it is or we can write a uh, full length of text so the next tag is button tag so in this button tag uh, we can display uh, structure of button and inside that we can display the text so uh, it is used to show the button on the web page then uh, ol tag ol tag is ordered list tag so inside that we are using li tags to display the ordered list content so it will be shown as 1 2 3 4 uh, list items so first is first ordered list item second ordered list item like that so this tags can be used to format the text and that is called as the markup uh, markup uh, language okay and then next tag is a tag anchor tag so it is used to link another web page or website or any uh, any Uh, content uh, with the uh, link so we can put the link in href uh, attribute and then we can simply denote what is the uh, name of the link in anchor tag so next tag is input tag so input tag uh, we can use input tag in forms or any other um, uh, any other we have where we want to search uh, where we want to uh, put some text or uh, some uh, in, uh, get some input from the user so there we use uh, input tag so uh, remember that html should only represent the content so uh, why uh, it is written like that uh, like uh, html is just the structure of the um, uh, structure of the web page uh, not the uh, style or anything other than that so uh, we can use html to some uh, define some uh, uh, styles or something like uh, some elements have attributes uh, like width height or something or color but uh, we don't have to use uh, that much of uh, html for for the styling purpose we are having css a different language called css is used to create rules about style so for the design purpose of uh, our website we use css so what is css next uh, css is a okay give me one minute okay css is a cascading style, style sheets so it uh, creates rules like the text should be uh, read there should be 20 pixels between the two elements this navigation bar should be stick to the top of the screen like that so these rules are uh, used to uh, design the web page so let's take a look at the syntax of the uh, css so uh, this is like a uh, first uh, thing is uh, highlighted in the uh, sc- on the screen is um, like body so it is a selector and for that matter um, inside the selector we uh, pu- we put curly braces in front of that and inside the curly braces we define property and value of the property so of according to that the style will be uh, style will be get by the uh, element style the element so let's write some more css yeah so how do we select um, uh, one or more specific elements so here we have selected body uh, body uh, body tag but how we want to select uh, multiple tags at the same time so for that uh, we can use um, uh, we can use css uh, for, sorry for that we can use class and ids so what is class and ids so classes are the uh, classes are the uh, uh, means uh, we are using classes for uh, for grouping uh, group selection like uh, like here uh, 
okay so first we see uh, properties and values what do what do they do so uh, first is a background color light blue so what will uh, what this will do that uh, it will uh, it will generate black background color of that element to light blue then cursor pointer what it will be doing that if you click uh, if you hover over the uh, hover over the uh, element then it will turn the cursor cursor uh, of the our means mouse cursor into pointers means uh, uh, like the shape of hand our hand that is called as uh, cursor pointer property then uh, then text align center so if uh, uh, if we want to center the text uh, inside the element then we use uh, text align center then background image if you want to put background image on some uh, element then we will be we will be using background image uh, attribute and we will be putting name or url of the image so next is display none so display none is used to hide the uh, element some sometimes you want to hide the image uh, image or element for some use cases and we will be using javascript for that to dis uh, display the uh, so to display none the element then font weight so font weight is used to uh, uh, font weight is used to uh, highlight the element like uh, here it is uh, 700 so it is very dark uh, dark font then uh, text decoration line through so text decoration uh, text decoration is the uh, line through means uh, we are striking the text over with straight line so it is like uh, we have cut that text so we will be seeing uh, that in our project so click this button so after clicking this button will be uh, on the next slide i will be show, uh, sharing this link uh, link of this uh, presentation with you so after clicking this button button will be clicked so this message will be pop up so what is javascript is used for so uh, wait a minute so okay uh, so uh, what is javascript is used for the like we have seen in above uh, if we click on the button the message of like button is clicked is printed on the screen for that matter we use javascript so javascript uh, it allows uh, to us to change something about on the page based on the particular event or condition um, okay so uh, it also is also called as my we have to we use javascript to manipulate the dom so what is dom so uh, the dom is the document object model so document object model is what the source code of our html page so html page source code uh, at the on the client side is also is also called as dom so the another name of the html source code is dom so we use javascript to manipulate the dom then the next uh, then uh, hello sarthak hello yes yes onkar yes hello Hello, sir. Sorry for the interruption. Your voice is slightly not audible. Means uh, uh, you're just uh, taking some responses from students here. Yeah. Just make it make it clear here. Yeah. Okay. I think I have a problem with my mic. I don't think I don't have any voice breaking problem, but uh, students have that. Yeah. I think uh, they have network issues uh, because um, they are communicating right. So, can I continue? Please explain JavaScript from beginning. Uh, okay. So yeah, please. Okay. So, what is JavaScript? We will be seeing. Okay. So. JavaScript is just like uh, uh, our, uh, it is analogical to our body. So like uh, we have uh, our our muscles and our brain of our body. So like that, uh, JavaScript works. Uh, JavaScript works like our brain and muscles. So uh, we whatever we want to do function or anything uh, related to logical part of our website, that will be handled by JavaScript. So like uh, 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 we have a web page and there uh, on that web page we have a button. So after clicking that button. Uh, the message like button is clicked is pr printed on the screen so this type of functionality is provided by javascript on the web page okay so html css are just for the uh, uh, building blocks of uh, the uh, 
web page but the logical part is handled by javascript so javascript is a scripting language or also a programming language it, uh, it is also programming language and it is used to uh, uh, provide logic to the web page like so uh, whatever the functionalities or uh, whatever the moving parts of the website or uh, 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 changing parts of the website are handled by javascript so javascript is used for manipulating the dom it is also called as manipulating the dom so what is dom okay uh, so dom is the document object model okay so document object model means uh, it is a source code of the of our web page html source code source code is what uh, what we write on the uh, html file of the of that uh, page html page so that is also called as dom and we have used javascript to manipulate the dom means use javascript to manipulate uh, manipulate the html so we have we uh, use javascript to uh, change contents of the html to remove html tags to add html tags to change their color their uh, their position we can use uh, to uh, calculate some uh, calculations like uh, we can do addition subtraction or anything with the javascript uh, like it is a programming language so we can do anything uh, uh, we whatever we do with programming language so uh, javascript is a just a log logical part of the website okay got it or uh, i will explain with some other thing hello you can put in chat box okay Ushkara said uh, like okay got it yes okay so let's see javascript in action so is, this is some code like on click uh, is used on click function is used or event is used to uh, display the uh, to add the content to the uh, um, html element so this is a secret message uh, which is written here like uh, we will be doing uh, now we will be doing code and we will be seeing how we use this javascript to manipulate the dom okay so now i will uh, share my whole screen wait is my screen visible okay it's visible think okay so i will be creating one folder here on the desktop This option will be available to you uh, when you install VS Code on your PC. So I will open with this code. And some people will don't have uh, VS Code on their uh, PC, so I will tell you how to install that. Just go to VS Code, go to Google, and type VS Code install. Okay. I think my screen is uh, lagging some by some second. So mm. So this is uh, the page uh, where uh, visualstudio.com slash download code.visualstudio.com slash download so you have to go to that uh, url and just click on whatever your operating system is and uh, you are uh, click on this download button your uh, file will executable file will be downloaded and you just have to click next next uh, next and uh, whatever it may be uh, it will be installed automatically you don't have to configure anything just it will be installed okay so after installing VS Code, uh, that option of any folder, if you uh, click on any folder like this, uh, if you click on any folder, 
and right click on it and uh, uh, there will be option with open with code okay okay then you uh, you can see this uh, screen like this so here is uh, here are the explorer tab uh, we, uh, we can see all the files in the folder and all, all other folders or anything in our folder uh, here okay so here is option like called as extensions so we have to go to that uh, extension uh, uh, section and we have to uh, add extension auto close tag means uh, this is used to uh, uh, auto close tag is just used to uh, uh, is used to help it is just help it will help you to just uh, close the tag when we uh, try to we will try to uh, type or uh, remove any HTML tag. So it is just a uh, uh, just for simplicity. Then another is um, another is live server. So live server will be used to uh, uh, run our website locally, and it will be refreshed as we soon as soon as we uh, we start our uh, uh, typing. Uh, we save our file. It will be refreshed automatically on the browser. Our website will be automatically refreshed. So it is uh, used uh, to help assist our uh, web development journey. And then this is the rainbow brackets. Uh, it is not used right now, but uh, these two must extens extensions are auto close tag and um, live server. Okay, you just have to go there and uh, like I have I have an uh, uninstall button, but you have you will be having install button. So you just uh, need to search like live server, and you will get that. You just have to click on that and install. Like. So now we will start our uh, simple web page building project. So uh, I will be creating uh, one file called index.html. And why it is index.html? Because uh, a lot of uh, a lot of server web hosting providers use a uh, first page or home page as index name. So we have to use index.html as a, our home page file. So for and now uh, I can click shift and one so it will be exclamation mark and it is uh, showing me some uh, emit abbreviation so what is emit emit uh, helps us to assist with our uh, your, uh, our HTML code so it will be generating automatically the basic boilerplate for our uh, basic boilerplate for our HTML code so I will be ent clicking enter or clicking here so like that uh, our basic html code is printed on the screen so i can show you uh, the browser what emit does uh, emit has a uh, lots of shortcuts and uh, means uh, we can generate a lot of code with just uh, some with just some text on the id So emit uh, is a pre-installed in our VS code, so we don't have to use extension or something. Like here it is just shit for um, emit. Okay, so if uh, I will tell it uh, later, what does this? And now uh, this is our uh, basic HTML template, boilerplate. So I will explain what is this. So first uh, tag is called as a doc type HTML, and it is uh, exclamation and in angular brackets, and doc type HTML. So what it defines as it is a version of uh, HTML5. So normally what happens before that uh, there is only HTML opening tag and HTML closing tag. So this defines that uh, it is uh, version lower than five of HTML. So a lot of improvements and lot of uh, bug fixes are there in HTML5. So we have to define doc type HTML. In on the first line so a browser will be recognized that okay this is version 5 of our uh, HTML so according to that syntax uh, uh, the okay, wait a minute. Everything is fine. So this first line is clear to you, and the what is it? Your voice is not clear, sir. Okay. Is it breaking or uh, it is very low? Yeah, it was low. Now it's better. Yeah. I have to put mic. 
Not battery. Okay. So this is HTML. Uh, okay, first line is clear to you. Now this is uh, second tag. Uh, second tag is HTML and language English. So what uh, whatever web page defines is that. See, I hover on this. Uh, I click on that uh, tag and it shows me what is the what is the use of that English. So so it is defined as it is equal to language equal to English. So this attribute uh, defines the language of our element or the web page. So we are using English in this. Uh, in this web page so uh, we, it is defined as english then there is a head and body tag so like our body uh, like our human body uh, we have our, our head and we have our body so like that it is web page head and web page is body so uh, this is html closing tag so entire web page is inside html tag so this is opening html tag this is closing html tag and closing tag is uh, defined by slash html and opening is like html so it is defined so these are the tags and it is just a text file a html file are just a text file with the with their name as dot uh, html uh, it is it is like dot html like we have dot pdf dot jpg dot mp4 dot mp3 like that uh, we save our uh, html file as dot html and our um, and in that it is just a text but with some special syntax and it is uh, for markup uh, purpose so it is also it is called as html file so uh, nothing uh, different li than other uh, files like we can edit this uh, code in uh, our notepad also but we are using uh, this uh, vs code uh, id for our uh, development purpose or for betterment like this is colorful or we are getting uh, emit abbreviations and we are getting boiler plates and what lot of functionalities for our development journey so we are using id or we can use uh, notepad or any other text editor for developing our html web page okay so that's it then we are having head and body tag so what head tag does is that uh, inside the head tag uh, whatever content uh, we we are not able to visible we are not able to see that content so there is uh, first there are two meta tags so character set is utf8 so there is a character set uh, for uh, encoding purpose so we, we are using utf8 uh, character code then the meta uh, another meta tag is uh, ua compatible so whatever that uh, is, is like that for our server uh, development purpose it is a uh, ui compatible uh, it is uh, showing attribute then the content is i is equal to x so this content is uh, visible to internet explorer and also to the edge browser so it is showing like that okay so these are meta tags and meta tags are used to uh, define uh, the or uh, or it can we can say that meta tags are used to uh, display the content of the content like uh, uh, this uh, HTML uh, page is a content for someone like uh, uh, for it may be a blogging site or it may be a, a shopping site so th that is content and for that content we are get uh, we are defining that uh, properties of content or data of that content so metadata of content so it is called as metadata and we are defining that metadata inside the meta tag so it is also called as uh, metadata of, uh, of our website so th that's why uh, meta tags are used and they are uh, um, they are single opening tag means there is no close closing tag for meta okay then the next meta tag is viewport so it is used to uh, used to tell our uh, browser that this website is uh, responsive and the width of the web uh, web page is equal to device width, uh, device width and uh, we don't have to zoom that website so we are uh, uh, putting initial scale as 1.0 okay so these are three meta tags and these are uh, common in every page, web page so we don't have to Edit or we have we don't have to do anything uh, with this meta tag. And another uh, meta tag is also called as a description meta tag. So we use that uh, description meta tag for our website uh, to uh, describe our website's uh, content. So whatever uh, it may be. Uh, so that description tag is uh, read by our uh, search uh, our uh, means our uh, search engine. So what search engine does that? Uh, does that our uh, meta description tag. Uh, it uh, reads out the content and it analyzes that okay this site is for again okay there is some chat can you explain again use of meta tag okay i'll explain again so okay so meta tag okay meta tags are used to define the content of the uh, web page like uh, web page is a uh, uh, content for another uh, person or user or, or user of our website like it may be blogging site it may be product site uh, it may be a, uh, whatever site so that website is uh, 
like uh, for another it is a information okay so it is a data for uh, some other another purpose but that data we have to define like uh, what is the that's uh, their uh, specific uh, what is the content of that uh, data or what about that data for browser for the search engines for that uh, we use meta tags to define the metadata of website so what is metadata metadata is it data about the data so data is our html and the uh, data about html page is written in the meta tags so uh, first uh, meta tag we are uh, written here as character set utf8 so it is a encoding format uh, which is used by the computers and browser to analyze that okay what character is uh, character set is used like in utf8 there are billions of uh, characters like uh, our language our um, our like english hindi marathi emojis like uh, characters different characters and different symbols are uh, defined in utf8 so we are uh, telling browser that this uh, web page is using character set utf8 then another next meta tag is xui compatible so it is used for http request and for the server side okay so meta tag are just uh, for defining the uh, about our web page okay and it is defined under under a head tag okay this head tag yeah then the content is visible to internet explorer it, uh, why it is written as internet explorer because internet explorer is now dead it is uh, not used by anyone but some uh, old people or elderly people are also using this uh, days in this days and this support is removed by uh, uh, microsoft also that internet explorer support and they have uh, created new browser on the basis of that that is age so uh, they are uh, this in this uh, line it is said that internet explorer and age can be uh, used by this website okay then then third meta tag is viewport so its name is um, viewport and it is used to make website responsive so we are defining that uh, the width of this web page is equal to the device width okay whatever our device width our uh, laptop screen width or our mobile screen width is equal to the width of the web page and the initial scale is equal to zero means we don't have to zoom in or zoom out our web page so it is it may be like uh, as it is we have to show so we are defining that thing in this meta tag so meta tags are just for defining our uh, our about our web page for that purpose we used meta tag okay then next tag is title tag so here uh, title tag we are uh, we have written, written document so i can uh, so i will start my live server and show what is how to run this website so i will right click on this file or any part of this uh, area in this file and i can see the option like open with live server or you can see here on the bottom of the screen go live option i think my screen is lagging okay you can see go live option you can click on uh, the file and on whatever you can do so open with live server i am clicking that so this will launch our local server localhost server okay this is a localhost url and this is slash index.html or we can use and the, it is port uh, open on the port 5500 okay so i will close this and i will open in incognito tab okay uh, so we have to use uh, incognito tab it is recommended that we have to use incognito tab because it will not uh, use uh, cookies for our website and it will not uh, store any data on our uh, for our development purpose so it is very okay it is recommended that we can we have to use okay so we can see here the name of the website is document so it is written here in this title tag so i can uh, write here uh, shopping site shopping site so it will be updated automatically like see we can see here it is shopping site okay so i will open this side by side so you can better understand okay this is a uh, as uh, means this tag is used to uh, add the title to the website like add the head of the website okay so the next thing is uh, is about uh, these are the minimum tags we have to use on the uh, HTML web page, and then the another tag is body tag. So inside body tag, we can display all our all the, our website's content. So, like uh, uh, we are uh, here, we can see that uh, our website is totally empty. Uh, here is only 
white space is here nothing is on this website so i can put a paragraph tag like okay i am just uh, typing p and it is recommending that p param p picture so these are different tags so i can select uh, any of the tag uh, for from the arrow keys up down so i can select this and i can uh, click on any para, uh, any tag so i will click on p and enter so it will be automatically generated uh, input and output tag like opening and closing tags okay for our element so it, this is paragraph element it is called as paragraph element so it is used to uh, display the text as it is or we can uh, for that we can use a long uh, lot amount of text or something so this is a great for uh, uh, displaying text as it is so p tag is yeah, written here so this is shortcut provided by id if we open this uh, uh, file in notepad then this uh, option will shortcut and this uh, type of uh, abbreviations are not uh, available there for that uh, purpose we use id that's it we, uh, we can do uh, any type of development in any type of editor for web development in html okay so yeah, i can write here welcome to our website okay and it will be updated here okay you can see i will be named welcome to our website okay so so uh, basically i am what i am doing here is not right now is uh, i will be building a navigation bar here uh, a navigation bar and, and footer and some uh, content in uh, inside this navigation bar and uh, between uh, navigation bar and footer so that's our basic website for today so i will uh, open a nav tag here okay so you can just open a angular bracket and type nav so it is like uh, we have we will get recommendation now so i will just press enter okay you know so sorry i can close the tag it will be automatically closed because of this uh, auto rename tag uh, extension it will where is it okay installed inside auto close tag okay auto close tag so this is done by the auto close tag extension so i will close this tag and it will be closed automatically opening tag is i have written opening tag it will be closed automatically by the extension so in this navigation i will just write uh, a div tag so div is just uh, for creating divisions on our web page like it doesn't have any meaning we just uh, use this div tag to uh, divide our website in uh, different parts or sections or just components of our website so it is also called as it is a, it doesn't have meaning so it is also called as non semantic tag so non semantic tag is a division tag and uh, other tags are semantic because they have a meaning for their purpose okay so this is non semantic tag and i will write here uh, unordered list so we have to write ul and inside that li okay so in that uh, li it is a list item so it is like tree uh, inside body tag there is nav tag inside nav tag there is div tag and inside div tag there is uh, unordered list tag ul tag and in that there is list item tag li tag okay so it is like tree like structure is a uh, forming inside html document so uh, okay so i will be copying all these uh, things uh, below each other okay so i will uh, write here home like in navigation bar there is buttons on the top of the website like home about then then products then also contact any web page we have to link with uh, anything we can use now okay. so i will see in my browser and i will zoom out this okay 100% uh, zoom so this is uh, written like home about products contact okay so these are the this is a list item uh, in our html so this is our uh, we have defined list in our html so what we have to do is that uh, we have to make them horizontal okay so for that purpose uh, uh, okay and we have to remove the dots in front of them like uh, there is a there are dots in front of that like an order list uh, Yeah. 
so here uh, we have to make them horizontal and we have to for that purpose we have to use css images in our project uh, so i will what i will do is that i will create another folder in this uh, explorer tab and name it as css you can name whatever we want but uh, i can name it as css because it contains css files and i will name this file as style.css because css is used to style the html part of our website uh, i'm audible clear right now that uh, my voice is not breaking and it's not low yeah, it's not breaking yes sir okay so this is style.css uh, file okay so now i think uh, you have got everything on this index.html uh, up to now that what i have written and um, whatever is that displayed on the web page okay uh, i will explain this is that okay this is a localhost column 5500 so look uh, means uh, this port is open by our uh, live server extension and uh, and uh, when we save our file after editing like I will say write something here and I have open uh, I have here uh, uh, click on auto save means I whenever I stop typing on in the file it will be automatically saved and if and when ever my file saves it get refreshed automatically by the live server extension on the web page so whatever I write on the our file it will be uh, displayed automatically okay so this is the beauty of their our ID that uh, we can um, do development very fast so this is the style.css uh, and uh, css files are uh, named as dot uh, css extension named as dot css extension so uh, for that uh, we can use uh, link colon css uh, shortcut to link our css file with html so we have to put that uh, link slash css in our html head tag so here uh, we are uh, relative uh, means uh, what are the, what is the type of this link then we are writing it as style sheet and then href means um, hypertext reference so uh, whatever the link or the name of our file we write it as style.css so it is uh, given by the uh, that uh, id automatically that style.css because uh, lots of css files are uh, primarily named as style but we can rename whatever our file name is okay so it is linked and uh, right now that our style.css and first part of our uh, okay so there is a I, I think i have to do wait a minute okay so i have to use some class here like i have told you in our presentation that uh, we are using uh, inside this Yeah, our CSS. Okay. Where is that? Classes and uh, think there is some I'm not able to see. Okay, here it is written that how do we select more than one specific element? So let's learn about classes and IDs. So I have not explained that, uh, but I am now explaining here that uh, what is class and ID. So whenever we want to um, means we want to apply CSS to our element uh, and then we use class or ID attribute in our HTML tag. So this is a, uh, in unordered list we want to uh, list them as in a row. So we can use uh, I can create one class in this uh, style.css like uh, flex box okay and I will uh, convert this display property as flex. Okay, so we have to learn uh, these uh, things like uh, what are the properties of our uh, we can use to def uh, 
to modify our styles of our web page so we have to learn that uh, these things like uh, if we will display flex then our uh, flex direction will be row and the, in that way inside the uh, inside your tag whatever elements are they are in the row uh, they are placed in the row so we have to learn these things uh, from uh, uh, from resources like uh, w3 schools or mdn uh, uh, firefox mdn uh, web docs so from that there we can learn about how to modify things of by css so uh, i know that uh, you have to use flexbox so i am using flex property here so display i have done uh, display a colon flex means this is property and the value of this property is flex so it is defined in the uh, style means in, it is defined in the css that uh, how how we have to modify this uh, uh, content of element so i have uh, and i have written here dot and dot means class and i am defining class as flexbox its name is flexbox so i will copy his its name right and i will put it here so it is written as flexbox so uh, i think uh, i think it happened here so i will create a display flex and flex direction okay. i will flex direction row I think uh, there is problem in, in linking something. We can open says like this. So we c uh, now in uh, some what is that? Uh, there is a uh, in our browser there is a, a thing kind of called as inspect. So after uh, clicking on it, uh, we have to right click on our web page and click on inspect. So there is a uh, there what happens is that there is developer uh, console uh, means developer tools are open for our for development purpose so whatever uh, our uh, uh, data about our website it is shown in this console so it is used by the developers only not uh, uh, not a uh, end user so uh, we are developers so we have to know that uh, there is option called as inspect and for by that we, we have various uh, developer tools so in that developer tools uh, first is elements so we can see our uh, whole html uh, source code here so here is head tag here is body tag whatever uh, in our html file is that it is uh, displayed by this uh, elements in this elements tab so uh, there is another tab called as console so uh, in that uh, there is error about our uh, about our uh, our web page so it is uh, saying that refuse to apply style from style.css because my type text like html is not supported style uh, style uh, type so we have to define here like uh, type text slash css i think this will resolve our issue text slash html is not supported ah. yeah i will link again link css you are not audible there right now hello i am audible yeah you are audible now yeah and please don't take anyone from now in the meet yeah okay so uh, i think there is uh, some problem okay there is a silly mistake from my side that i have to denote uh, here uh, folder name css slash style dot css so in s i am i want we have to put it here uh, relative path of our uh, file like i am inside index dot html and my file is inside css folder so i have to mention here uh, css slash style dot css so this is relative path of our style dot css uh, css file okay so i have mentioned here wrong that's why it is not showing up so right now it will be showing up like okay i will close this uh, okay so it is in line but i think there is some uh, disturbance here because uh, we have to define another properties also like uh, we have to i can define uh, like uh, uh, for uh, our li uh, list items means li tag i can define text decoration not so li text 
decoration none so what will it will do yeah okay list style none i will give list style none list style none sorry not text decoration okay so dots are uh, removed now and text is visible correctly so there is another thing uh, like padding and margin so what is padding and margin i will explain again uh, means i will explain now that uh, what is pad margin and padding so for a developer uh, inside our inspect we can use a shortcut on our keyboard that f12 so after clicking f12 i will be immediately uh, uh, opening developer tools or i can simply right click and inspect click on right inspect so it will be uh, visible okay so i can select this is our selector button so uh, to is, uh, inspect uh, any element on our page <coughs> use this select button so i i will click on this then it will be converted to blue color uh, means uh, we can select any element on our page so i can select uh, this product tag means this li or this li or this li so i will uh, click on first li so it will be highlighted here in elements tab okay and it's a relative uh, whatever css we apply in our uh, css files it will be displayed here so we have uh, displayed a list style none in our css file like this list style none okay okay and uh, whatever uh, okay so whatever styles we are applying uh, for our uh, html uh, elements it is displayed on our uh, in our developer tools like list style none if i click on this uh, tick then it will be removed okay for a develop for testing purpose we can use developer tools like this it will not uh, change my source code anyway anyway if i refresh this web page this is uh, uh, back to normal okay but uh, if i click on this it will remove if i click on this it will be as it is okay so for the for this purpose uh, i am explaining uh, what is padding and margin okay so in this uh, in this style tab uh, we can see uh, here element uh, blue type, blue color element if i highlight on this we can see on the left side that uh, it is a uh, dis uh, in around home text uh, we can see blue box so this blue box is like this blue box it is defined here and its width and height in pixel is de uh, defined here okay so uh, around that uh, there is padding okay then padding i when i click on this padding there is no padding here when i click on this border there is no border here because it is not highlighted on the left side and when i click on this margin there is no margin here so for every element there is padding border and margin okay so we have to define padding uh, or margin or both we can define both to space out this four elements from each other okay so we, what we can do is that we can i can define margin and i can define it as 10 pixel okay so after saving this th see there is space between these elements and if i click on this li tab and there is uh, now you can see that uh, there is a outline around home home a uh, text that uh, uh, which is in brown color so i can see here that this brown color is shown here i can hover over this uh, this uh, in style tab and i can see here value is 10 like this is 10 pixels margin i have given and i have defined here like margin 10 pixel so like that we can also define padding to space out our uh, element from each other and we can also define border like for our buttons we use border to highlight them to display them uh, uh, th to uh, them uh, make them um, good we use borders so these are the three properties basic properties of our element any element we can use this for okay so we will be creating now bar here so for, for that matter now uh, we have seen that uh, we are having uh, now bar so i what i can do is that i will move this four buttons on the right side and in left side i will put so my uh, my website's logo so i don't have any logo so i will search on google uh, logo logo black and white okay so i will download any logo like this uh, this is a this board okay so i will click on and uh, save image as inside my desktop okay there is a folder like bootcamp 6 web and i will be pasting it here okay i'll rename it as uh, logo okay and i will save it okay 
so it will be save it is save now so in this uh, vs code we can see logo dot png is here okay but uh, i will what i will i will do is that i will create another folder called image img and i will put this logo dot png in that folder so i will cut this and paste in image folder okay so this inside image folder okay so what i will do is that uh, inside navigation there is first division and i have to put this section on the right side and in the left section i have to put image or logo image so i will create another division or another another part of our web page and it is uh, it is just to define logo so i will directly put image tag here so we use image tag so it is image colon source for the shortcut of our uh, in the vs code we use the image colon source or we can simply type image and uh, up and down arrow we can select uh, this tag so after entering this we will say closing tag so we don't have to use a closing tag like this like in the li we are using slash li for closing the our li opening tag so for but for image we don't have to use anything like that so uh, for linking uh, in our source uh, source attribute there is a uh, uh, for the uh, for each and every uh, html element we are having source and a value uh, thing so for uh, for this element we are having source as attribute and uh, its value will be its path or its we can put online url for all also for that so like that i will use image slash logo dot png it is recommended i will enter okay so then alt 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 is used alt attribute is used to when our image is not loading or our uh, whatever our path is wrong or something is, uh, image is missing from our path then we use alt tag so for alt uh, I can say logo image. If I mistakenly, I will spelling mistake. I will do spelling mistake here. Instead of png, I will write pn. And alt is that. And source set is not used here. Will not use that here. Okay. So that's it. So inside our uh, web page, I can see alt text logo image because uh, there is something problem. Uh, there is problem uh, that our uh, website is not loading image. So what uh, what you can do if you don't know what is happening and our uh, thing is not uh, loaded uh, for our website so we can do uh, we can open uh, developer tools and go to console so inside our console whatever are wrong with happening with our website it is a given warning like that uh, here it is a click open console view so uh, this is an error something like fail to load resource server responded with status logo.png1 so i will click on this and i can see logo.png is not loaded in this uh, application tag so i can know that okay my there is something we are uh, missing here so i will put uh, correct and this is uh, our logo okay so uh, as you can see logo size is as it is means uh, there is a very good quality logo and its size and width is uh, as it is put it on our website but we have to uh, uh, it's we have to uh, put it on the our navbar so we have to uh, small it uh, means make it small so what we can do is that uh, we can put a uh, class here so i can put class uh, attribute here and i can put a uh, size uh, class name size so in that style that css i will be writing size or i can say image size img size okay and this is the class and we are whenever we have to define class we have to use dot in front of that class name and whenever we are directly uh, applying css to the element then we don't have to define uh, we don't have to put anything in front of that uh, element name or something like uh, li is the element so on our whole page uh, uh, wherever is the li so it is uh, applying the css to the li and now i will write here image size so i will write width width is okay 100 pixel and height is also right 100 pixel so in this way uh, i have not put here class name correctly so ng size okay. so i can see the size of the image is uh, quite small so i will i think i will just define width height will be automatically adjusted by that okay. you can define it like that okay so this is correct and I think it is the right height and width so we can inspect and we can play around it with like whatever we want on uh, height 
like i want to change this height or i want to adjust this height so i can click on here and using uh, my arrow keys on our keyboard you can open up and down uh, up and down keys i can increase this height and it is displayed on the left side that uh, it is changing so you can play around it with like whatever uh, you want uh, our result you can achieve that on means i think uh, uh, for example i think i have to put i i seen here 100 pixel 110 pixel correct so i think uh, i have to put this so i will copy this uh, whole property right from here and i will co i have copied it and i will paste it here again so uh, what happens is that it will be updated here okay? so this is uh, done we have logo we have our navigation button but we don't have our uh, navigation on the right side of the web page we have to make it in a line uh, we have to put it in a line linear uh, line so i what i will do it i will do uh, for our navigation i will use class okay and this is flex box because we have defined flex box here that display flex and flex direction is row so uh, where uh, di flex direction is row means what uh, the elements inside that uh, where wherever is this class is used so inside uh, their child elements means i have used uh, this flex box here so in nav tag so it's a uh, nav tags uh, uh, child classes means are this div this division okay sorry this division and this division okay this division and this division are the child classes of this navigation tag okay so this navigation tags uh, means this child uh, child uh, elements will get this property flex direction row so these two elements will be displayed in a row so for that we are using flex box class okay so i will go here and see this uh, like uh, this uh, both the things are aligned perfectly in a row okay but i have to put these uh, buttons on the right side of the page so what i will do is that um, i will go to here i will go here and uh, i have to use a here a display display property for this flex box so i will again uh, include i can use multiple classes in us for the same element so what i can do is here uh, Sardak, I think you are writing in the code. Yeah. Hello, Sardak. Hello, hello. Hello. Huh. Yeah, I think you are writing in the. Hello. Think uh, there is a network issue. On the. Yes, I was writing, but uh, the screen is freeze right now. I will share with the. Uh... Yeah. Is my screen visible? Hello. Uh, yes, it's it's visible. Yeah. Okay. So I think you missed something. Okay. Wait a minute.
everything is uh, all right okay let's box so so as we can see that uh, So I have used flex direction row for the uh, navigation class here inside here. Okay. I have flex box inside your navigation tag. I will use flex box class so that uh, its uh, direction is get is got off. So for this uh, div and for this division, we are getting flex direction as row. I think I am audible clear. Longer. So I have to put uh, these uh, buttons on the right side of the web page. So what I will do is that uh, I will for a navigation for a navigation tag. Okay, uh, what I will do is I will put it side by side. I will write justify content center. So what it will do is that it will put a vertical things in the center and align item center. Align item center. Okay. So it will align the item in the center of the uh, as it is horizontal. So it is uh, at the center of our web page. So it is good. So uh, what I have to do, mm, I have to put this logo on the left side and this buttons on the right side and space in between them. So what I will do, I don't know the correct property for that. So sometimes it, it happens that, okay, we don't know some properties of our CSS. So what I will do that, uh, here in justify content center, I will remove this and I will get some options like uh, center, end, flex end click start so these are the things uh, we can try okay this space around space around is correct so i will select this and i will close this inspection inspect okay again i will open inspect okay now line item center i'll open this on the bottom of the page yeah so I will get better view so space between is the correct thing I think yeah. so I will use space between here just to get space between ok so this is on the left side of the page and this is on the right side of the page ok so what I will do is that I will I can do I can increase the font size of this page so I will do what okay in this word inside style dot css okay I will put font size font size plus Okay, and uh, in that font size class, I will use font size property define font. Yeah, I will write it as big font. Okay. Big font class name big font, and font size is uh, 10 pixel. Okay. I will define in pixels, and I will put this plus. Mm. Inside of this uh, URL tags inside this uh, earlier is the content so this size is very small 
other purpose is inspect tool and hover on that you will get your font size i will increase this font size and you can see that uh, this is i think this is your 25 pixel so i'll put it here 25 pixel 25 okay so this is fine and i have to also increase the size of this logo so what i will do is that in that in the inside this logo there is an instagram so i will see its size this size is increased okay so 135 pixel is the correct size i think width so i will put 135 pixel here 135 pixel okay Good, fine. So I can color this navigation bar with background color property. So like uh, I use aqua background color. Please put a uh, yes or no or any. If you have any queries, you can put in chat box. If you have any doubts or if you haven't understand anything up to now, so use Alan write in a letter. and write okay i don't think i have to do that sir ah uh, yes sir please explain that uh, justify content property okay justify content space button so what what it does that um, uh, we are using flex property inside this okay i will zoom out so this space button is uh, uh, applied to navigation tab so inside navigation tab we have this flex box and this flex box has uh, property display flex so for display flex there is a separate uh, uh, there are these separate uh, properties for display flex like there is one property justify content and another property as align items so whichever element having display flex they are having this uh, justify content and align items so these properties are used to uh, Ma uh, arrange content between uh, the elements like uh, its child elements uh, means uh, have we have applied flex box in navigation tab so its child uh, elements are this div and this div okay okay what it so these two divs will get these two properties justify content and, uh, and align items so for that we will use justify content space between so what will happen is that there is space between this and this division tag so we are defining that okay uh, horizontally we are defining justify content in vertically we are defining align items when there is flex direction row okay if we have defined flex direction column then this justify content will be on the vertically and the align items will be horizontally spacing so this is used to sp uh, space the elements uh, child elements of the element so our main element is navigation which is having uh, class flex box and we defined flex direct uh, display flex here so for that uh, we have defined flex direction row so flex direction is row then uh, justify content is applied for the uh, horizontal spacing okay and uh, align items is applied to the vertical spacing so vertical spacing we uh, we are uh, uh, arranged this uh, uh, two elements in this, this div and this image div both in center of the uh, this is that nav element so this is perfect and uh, we horizontally we have um, made space between them so we have defined here like in this console you can see there is navigation and uh, here space between so horizontally uh, if i remove this i will get suggestions like whatever whatever you have to do if i do center then the uh, what uh, element is that if, if you can see here this is i will click on the nav so i can see here navigations uh, navigation elements size is 1520 pixel by 122 pixel this is width and this is height so this element and inside this element there are two divisions you can see here this is division one this is division two and it is highlighted in above screen okay in our, our web page so these both divisions will get because we are having flex box uh, property for navigation so we are we will get this flex direction and uh, means flex direction justify content aligned items for these two divisions okay so
so just a wagon torrent is for uh, now our uh, flex direction is rho so just a wagon torrent is for horizontal spacing so horizontal means uh, in in line so uh, if i remove this and i will adjust uh, just a wagon torrent so you have to only remember that remember that if flex direction is rho just a wagon torrent is used to spacing is used to spacing uh, make made space between child elements horizontally okay so this is horizontal spacing right now like i will check uh, whatever available properties are there available values are there so space between is correct i think i can use anything if i want so space between is all right so i will choose space between and i will in this source code i will use here space between okay i think you got clear uh, about stream content property yes sir thank you okay okay we'll continue so now i think uh, i have to change this color so i can change this color in this developer console like right? uh, i can click on this icon and i can shift this color so in real time it is changing on our screen our color okay so i can test my colors or i can uh, fade out fade in whatever we can you want to do you can do it here and i can see this uh, in hash code you can see this is uh, what is uh, it is called as a so this example uh, i think is not hash value is not the hash value of this color so i can put it hash value here i can remove this and i can put that copy copied value so it will be applied here if i refresh on the page it will be applied okay. so uh, for the testing pur purpose i have used anything but you can use whatever you like so uh, now you can see that uh, there is a small space between uh, this color means this uh, nav element from above and from the sides both the sides so what why this happens is that uh, our browser uh, Uh, our browser uses uh, some uh, predefined css for our website so browser has defined that uh, we have uh, margin form uh, for uh, each and every element for uh, with, with some values so we don't have to use uh, their value because we are styling for our uh, website our uh, css so what we can do is that uh, predefined values of uh, margin and padding we are neglecting for our whole web, uh, website so what we can do is that there is one selector called star so this star is applied to every element of our css so we are defining star as margin 0 and padding also 0 so what it will do that, uh, as firstly uh, first line is executed means uh, first line is uh, seen by the browser and it is defining as margin is 0 and padding is 0 so for every element in our body tag it will uh, define margin and padding 0 okay so the, that predefined value of margin and padding by the browser is removed and it is um, it is defined as zero and whatever uh, uh, we want to update like uh, we have to update a margin value for uh, list item to uh, 10 pixel so it will be applied uh, after that after this so uh, now you think that uh, you will think that uh, uh, we have defined for all the elements that margin is zero and we are defining for a list item that margin is 10 pixel okay here so uh, we, which value will choose by the browser okay so the latest value of the uh, uh, elements attributes i mean uh, properties are used by the browser so latest uh, first we define heat here and again we define for the list item margin is equal to 10 pixel so it is uh, accepted by the uh, list item uh, margin 10 pixel is accepted by the browser so the latest is Uh, from up to up to down okay so this value is 10 pixel so it is applied by the browser so i think uh, this uh, extra space is removed from the uh, navigation bar okay okay so i think uh, when we hover on the buttons it is showing cursor right here okay you can see it is cursor it is not uh, showing cursor pointer so there is a small hand like shape uh, icon so we have to sh uh, see that so for that i can what i can do is that Uh, i can put a pointer cursor for the list items so whenever we hover pointer okay so pointer cursor is not for here for the list item so we have what we have to do is that we have to link this 
buttons to the another pages of our website okay so for that matter uh, we have to use uh, a tab called also called as anchor tab so what i will do is that i will put opening bracket angular bracket a and closing angular bracket okay so there is anchor tag is created and close this okay so uh, i will select this and i will shift this to here, here so what is happen is that in the li tag there is another tag called a tag and this a tag is used to link another pages to our website so in this uh, there is attribute href hypertext reference hypertext is a uh, hypertext means uh, page or content which is available digitally so hypertext reference i can put it here another website link like slash google.com okay http colon double slash www.google.com okay so whenever i click on this button or a list item i will be redirected to the google.com see whenever i click on this this is a uh, highlighted and uh, underlined by the uh, anchor tag because we have used anchor tag when i click uh, click on this it is going to the google.com okay so we can do anything we can link to any website from our website okay we can redirect so like that i can redirect to slash the slash means what uh, our home page for any website so i will write it as slash okay i will make a space here here okay so like this uh, i will add another anchor tag here also i will add another anchor tag href tag href is slash about dot html i will create a i will tell you what is this href how to link for our own website pages so products dot html html href slash contact dot html okay so what i will do is that i will create another folder other folder name t or templates or t i will use t because uh, it is very short name so i will use t and i will define about.html html then products.html products.html then <coughs> contact.html okay so we can see here okay what is this i think there is error okay i will refresh and it's clear okay so when i click on about this will get me error because i have not defined the correct path so this is this showing that cannot get about slash html so i will do is that i will go here and uh, we are in t uh, we are in index.html and we have to go to t folder and then there are files so i will mention here t okay. t. T. T, t is for templates okay so i am again going about about that html this is blank file because in about that html there is nothing okay there is nothing here no bullet error or nothing so it is showing you nothing what it is going to this you can see here that a localhost colon 5500 slash t slash about dot html okay means this path is correct and this path is also correct and this path is also correct okay and i can click on home and i will go i will just get a uh, water refresh because slash is the home page path so okay so i will open again index dot html and uh, this list style and cursor pointer property i have to use for that i have to use anchor tag so cursor pointer so uh, what i will do is that 
I will first remove this style. So you can see that uh, there is underline below every step tag. So I have to remove that for that matter. So this is style none. So I think it is removed right now. Yes. No. Uh, text decoration none. Sorry. Text decoration. Text decoration none. Okay. So it is removed. Underline is removed. And I have to color. Color is. I will make them red or even black only. Okay. So they are black, and I will remove this background color property. So uh, what I can do is that uh, I don't have to remove this whole code. So I will just comment with uh, Control slash on a my keyboard. So it will get commented like slash star slash star. Like uh, we using Java and another programming languages. So like that uh, this is commented means this code is not executed uh, or read by the browser it is just ignored so background color is removed and i can click on this this are the you can see like that refresh okay. so see we have to refresh i have to refresh again for the remove color background color so this is about this is product this contact okay. everything is working fine and i can see that uh, this uh, Cursor pointer is uh, showing for these buttons, lists, list items. Okay. So I will increase this their margin again. Comment. Color margin. I will just increase. Okay. I think uh, this is good. 31 pixel. Thirty one pixel. Okay. So, and image, I think image also margin. Put margin for image. Yeah, margin left property also. Right. Twenty pixel. Thirty pixel. Okay. So now I, I have to make a footer here. So what I will do is that I will create another uh, tag name footer. Okay. Footer. We have this element footer in our HTML. So inside this footer I will write paragraph tag and I will say copyright. There is a lot on the lot of website there is this text copyright and our website is name like I will say I will return a shopping site so I will return as a shopping site copyright and there is a code for this copyright symbol HTML so you have to just search copyright HTML symbol okay so slash You can use and ampersand copy. Okay, so it will be shown on our website. Right? This copyright symbol, or we can use this hash code. This is ASCII code, hash one sixty nine ampersand. Whatever you can choose is. So I will use this. I will write shopping site. Okay. <coughs> Now, mm, and there is also a link, right? I'll take this ad credit, which ref will be uh, we can write a href also. I'll write terms and conditions, okay. Use terms and conditions. I can see another website terms and conditions. Okay, our college and website also has terms and conditions page. So I'll go there. Okay. So 
so its url is slash terms slash conditions okay so i'll copy this url i will again go to the id paste this and here text will be i have again added p tag here and i'll enter this and you can use a you can right click on this and format document click on format document then your code will be automatically formatted like this before it was anchor tag was above and the paragraph tag was a uh, side by side so if i click on format document it will beautify our content so i will write terms and conditions okay. so terms and condition and this is link when I click on this link, I'll be redirected to the terms and conditions page. So there is now you can see that I have the domain of our website is completely moved to another uh, domain. Like I have on the lo I was on the localhost and I am right now on the Rajesh Anchor website. But I don't want this thing to happen. I want to uh, be on our website and also want to you know, send our users to the another website. So what I can do is that I will open this link in new tab. For for that. Uh, we have another attribute, attribute in href like uh, target so we have to put target underscore blank so what it will do is blank it will open our this href or this anchor tag or this link in new tab so okay i will click on terms and condition and it will move to the new tab okay so by this way uh, we will user will be on our, our side also and next slide uh, next, uh, our website also and another website also okay so now right now we are having this footer design i think that's much for to put our part but i have to put this footer on the bottom of the website bottom of the web page so what i will do is that uh, i have to style this footer in that way so okay so i will go to style.css and i will put footer selector here and put in that footer selector what i will do is that i will made the made its position absolute what it what it will do is that by making position absolute we get another two attributes like left left and bottom so with these two attributes uh, we can define what is the position of our website like we can define a left and bottom attributes so we want our position of our uh, footer at the bottom of our web page so what you uh, what i will do is that i will put left zero means from left side it is uh, on the zero position and from the bottom it is on the zero position okay so, okay so i think it is on the from left side okay so this is left left side of our page and it is from left side it is on the zero position and from the bottom of our website it is on the zero distance okay distance so i will inspect again i will show how this works so if i put position this is footer tag okay so this is left i will increase this so by half so from left it is uh, increasing its uh, whatever what it is called as distance if i decrease this distance it will be decreased okay and from uh, using bottom i will increase this, its position from the bottom so uh, for that I have to make it as bottom zero. So it will stick around the bottom. And left is also zero. Now why left is zero? Because I will tell you. I want to center it in the uh, middle of our website. So uh, what I will do? I don't want it left. But I don't know what is the um, center means middle position of our website, right? So what I will do is that I will use your text align center. I hope my screen is, screen is not lagging. Text align center. Okay. So this uh, text will be on the center of our website. See, it's not happened. So we have to use something different. I will use overflow. This property is used when we have. Uh, scrollable page so we have to hide that uh, bottom of our page from the bottom of our page like uh, we are having a long page then this footer will has not to be shown so we are using 
or Florida, but we are having very short pitch, so it will show as it is. So, okay, I think uh, I have made position center, but I think uh, this is terms and conditions, and our footer is very short. See, uh, I have made uh, you can see here. Text align is center means uh, our text is in the center of the element, but the our size of the our element, like we can see here, this uh, blue box uh, represent our element. But you can see on the web page that our element is very, is very small. So if we have to make that element all along the width of our web, web page so that uh, the text will be uh, inside the at the center of the element. So what I will do, I will. Uh, I will try here that uh, width is equal to um, 100 percent. So what it will, will do is that it will okay. So width is equal to 100 percent. So it will take uh, uh, all the width available to it for the okay. So it will use all of the widths uh, which is available to it. So like uh, if I shrink this browser. Then again, it is at the center of the website. Okay. If I make it uh, big, okay. then again, it is at the center of the website. So, web page. So, it is uh, using width is equal to 100%. Means this, now, this uh, size of the element is increased. Okay. You can see this footer, it is increased like right now. So, it will take uh, as possible as uh, width it can have. And and then we are using text align center, so it will be at the center of our element. So text is at the center of our element right now. So it will be showing correctly, and it is at the bottom of our website. Okay, so there is no problem. So what you can do, we have to increase this font, and we have used our we have created our uh, class called font. What is that? Big font. Uh, hello, sir. Tak. Hello. hello. Yeah, sorry for the interruption. Uh, just you can give the background colors to the headers and footers so that uh, all students can understand it. Well. Ah, yes, yes. So, so the container will be displayed correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Background color. I will use red. Okay, and for navigation, we have already background color. We haven't uh, fixed that width in. We have fixed it the, the width in our developer tools, but not in our source code. We have to put it here. The width 100%. Now the width is as according to the content of uh, of the. You are not able, sir. Okay. Hello. I think. Uh, Your voice is breaking. Hello, right now. Uh, no, it's okay. If we haven't defined the width of the, our web, uh, our element, then it will take width according to the content of the element. That content of our element is uh, this text and this text, uh, this anchor tag and our uh, text of copyright. So it will take uh, as minimum possible uh, width for our element. But uh, we have to define width 100% so that it will take maximum of the width. So I will define width 100%. So as you can see, the red background is increased right now. Okay, and the width of the element navigation is the background color of this navigation bar. Okay, so I have to make some distance between these two line, these two part, these two sentences. So I will what I will do, I will put height as a hundred percent. So what? Uh, just make it slight light color. Okay. Hello. Yeah, hello. Got it. Uh, can you make the footer just like a slight light color? So yeah, yeah okay, that's fine. Okay. So I have increased the size of size of footer uh, height of the footer. So it is displayed display uh, display correctly. <coughs> So for now I have to make the distance between these two sentences. So what I will do, I will select this 
paragraph tag okay and i will add margin this margin so there is no what uh, class or anything defined for this there is a uh, our style of css margin if i increase this margin this uh, margin will be applied to all the elements in the our web page so i have i don't have to choose this uh, style so i will create a margin this is element style another thing on our style step so margin 10 pixel so you can say that a distance is created here so i will again increase this thing and you can see margin is 22 pixel so i will what i will do is that i will put here so i will uh, show you how inline css is applied so uh, up to now we have uh, applied css in our uh, style.css file or any css file but we can apply css without our css file we can apply uh, css to our element directly so what we can do is that we have to use style tag uh, style attribute sorry so style attribute and uh, inside the style attribute we can define all our styles whatever we want to give to that element so if for this paragraph tag i want to give margin margin uh, 20 pixel i can give 20 pixel so what happen is that this uh, style will be applied to this element okay so this is looking fine so this is also this is called as inline css means we are putting uh, in the line of our element of html so it, this is called as inline css this is called as external css because we are externally linking our css file in the head of the our html so uh, this is external css this is in inline css and we are uh, we also have internal css so what is internal css we define that internal css is head tag of head tag of uh, html element so we what we uh, we do is that we have style uh, tag in html so in that style tag we can define like uh, bag uh, background color no we have to use a uh, syntax like this like whatever we use in our uh, style.css or any css file so i can define this uh, dig font dig font class in inline uh, sorry here and i will format this document so it is looking good now i will apply this big font to the footer i don't need to apply it so i will create a class attribute on big font i think its size is increased okay so it is visible to everyone right okay so this is clear now we have developed our header and footer i mean navigation bar and footer now we have to do contents so there is another attack uh, in html called section so we can create section uh, means uh, many sections in our website like this is left section right section middle section so this is uh, our website's uh, web page middle section so in this middle section i can put some javascript so i will show you how to use uh, javascript in our web development so what i will do is that i can create a javascript file so for that i will use javascript folder so name is at js folder name is js and in i will have created folder and in that folder i will write script i will write any file name script dot js okay and enter okay so script dot js is created and i can write here any thing i want console dot log if you want to print on um, in the console of our in, in developer tools then we can use console dot log and we can put our string here hello world okay and we use semicolon there is no need uh, there is no compulsion that we have to use semicolon or not so for printing uh, inside the console of our like uh, we use uh, we do in our uh, another programming like we use like python and anything we use in python we use print and in bracket we use double quotes and whatever text we want to print we type that so like that here in javascript we use console dot log and the string we want to print so this is a javascript is a the first line of javascript is written here so what we have to do is that we have to link our javascript to the html so this is not if we go to the web page and go to the inspect element and go to the console there is nothing is here the console is empty okay so what we have to do 
we have to link this uh, this javascript to our website so what i will do i will do is that at the bottom of our body tag it's above body tag but inside the body tag at the bottom i will write script tag so for linking of our javascript we use script tag and i will use colon script colon src this is called src shortcut so in src i will write js slash script dot js it is registered so i will enter and that's it so this uh, javascript is linked to our web page if i go to this developer console there is unexpected token there is error at the line number 46 it is showing that 46 line number so i will go here and in 46 line number you can see nothing to refresh the page okay so i refresh the page and i will get this response hello world okay and this is showing that uh, script.js file and it's line number one it is giving hello world printed so i can click on here and i can see the full javascript file that what is inside this javascript file so i can see here console.log hello world and i can close the sources tab and i can print whatever it means uh, javascript is like uh, our programming language so i can define uh, any variable here you can do calculations here like uh, a is equal to 2 okay let b is equal to 3 and a plus b it will give 5 because a is 2 b is 3 and we have added then and we get 5 as answer so it is like uh, whenever we want to do calculation on our while we are uh, developing or while we are using website you can just come on the console and you can do addition subtraction whatever you want you don't need any calculator for it but because like 5 plus 3 it will give that okay so there is mini calculator in our web browser so we can do pretty much anything which programming language do with javascript okay so this is a script okay so likewise uh, we have used external javascript like uh, we have used external css here we have used here external javascript but we can use inline javascript also so what you can do is that in this script tag you can directly write javascript like console dot dot log and i can write welcome to welcome to shopping site okay and i will do semicolon okay and open the console so welcome to shopping site hello world so why this is executed above of hello world because we have right here first welcome to shopping site and then we link the script.js and then inside the script.js whatever is the content we had get that got executed later welcome sentence so because of that hello world is printed after this welcome okay so i can show you uh, content uh, in this section tag can use uh, image tag too. you can link uh, external i will show you how to link external image so i will use product i will tag as product image in source tag whatever link so product we will search product images and there is a good site called unsplash.com which is where you can get high quality images for, for free for our website or any purpose okay so this is our product watch so what i will do i don't have to download this i will directly read its href okay so i am inspecting unsplash.com okay you can inspect any website on our on your browser so it's available only on pcs not in mobile phones so what I have to do is that I have to get its link. I can't use this link. I have to use this. I have, I have to use this image particular link, like uh, open image in, in new tab. If I right click on this image, there is option open image in new tab. If I open image in new tab, there is only image, no HTML content here. There is HTML content, so that you don't have to use this uh, link. You have to use this link. So I can copy this link, or I can right click on this, and uh, there is copy image address i can copy image address or i can get image link from here so i will cut this image link and i will paste it here okay 
and i will use now this is very long string this uh, means i i am not getting this correctly okay so what i will do is that there is option in view that word wrap okay so this is uh, this uh, line of our html file is increased and it is adjusted accordingly our according to our screen so this is our image is in and product image type so i will go to our website here and i can see our pages so it's very tdp right so what i will do is that <coughs> i will use width tag here also because it's not recommended to use width and height or any style tags in our html tag what i will use here you have to use the javascript percentage no oh, sorry okay 10% is very small very small so what i will do is that This is product image or anything you can put it here. Okay, so like this uh, I have to put. So what I will do is that I think uh, this content is okay for our website. Center. I will make another class called center. Center. Twelve line items. Center. This center class I will apply to image type. Okay, so it will be at the center of our. No, it's not at the center. What I will do now? Style width hundred percent. It's not working right now. Can check the size of this section. Absolute left okay. turn Zero left zero. Okay. Okay, no fifty percent. And bottom is also fifty percent. I think it's okay. I think it's not right. Like this, we have to try and test things to align items. And
Gut, dann hauen wir mal weg. Okay. So like this uh, header and footer and the content of our page is ready. So I will take it up to this only. Now our website is ready. Display primarily. So I think I have to do another. I think I have not fill the content of another web pages. So what I will do is that I will copy all the this dot HTML content. Okay. Or whatever I what I will use that inside about tag. I will use boilerplate. I will use this about about open site. Okay. Like this. Copy here. Inside contact, I will use boilerplate. Exclamation. This is contact. Okay. And in this dot HTML body content that is now footer and content and script. Everything I will copy. Please do not doubt. Please do not contact. And in. Okay. <coughs> so, right now I will remove this sections image and put. About shopping. Now I will show how to host this website freely on GitHub pages. Okay. There is no need to pay anything for hosting. You just need your domain or GitHub will provide it so there is no need. If you don't have. So I think our website is ready. Minimal website. And we have learned a lot of things. Okay. About. Okay. There is problem like this CSS and JavaScript files are not linked correctly. So what I have, we have to do is that dot dot slash. I have to use a dot dot slash. Okay. We have to put parts correctly. What I can do is that I will just put slash in front of everything. It's a relative path. There is no problem. Total HTML, CSS. This is no one thing says it. Okay. I'm just linking CSS and JavaScript and HTML and correcting this HTTP tag. Okay. Think about page is clear now. And showing about shopping site, okay. And then contact put slash or else I'll put slash put slash here. Okay. Products products shopping site contact. Contact shopping site. These pages are changing. This URL is changing, and the header and footer are same because we have done the same code on header and footer. And this font are uh, big because we haven't put this font style big font in every page. So I can put it here. In 
pattern analysis is like this okay so every page is similar right now i will click on products product shopping site contact contact shopping site then about now every page is linked to each other okay i can move from any page to any page so what is happening right now is that image is not loading here so if something is wrong with the image the alt text is shown here so i have put alt text as logo image you can see this is about.html and inside about.html you can see here inside uh, this image we haven't put slash here so we have to put slash here and this alt logo image is shown here okay because it is not loading so we put slash and put slash here so our website is i think ready everything is fine i will go to products product shopping site contact contact shopping site home i can move from any page to any page okay there is no problem i can navigate from anywhere to anything to anywhere okay so that's fine everything is good so i what i have to do is that i have to make it online so <coughs> what i will do is that there's a please everyone in the chat box uh, tell me do you know about github i want to know how many people, students know the github because i, I will explain about this github if you want to know you can tell me like Yes, lots of people know about it. Yeah, very good, very good. If you want to be a developer, you must have an account on GitHub because every every developer on means every developer uses GitHub to showcase their means to showcase their skills and to be means what. Uh, Their workflow is uh, totally on GitHub because, because uh, uh, lots of uh, developers and lots of big companies like Google, Microsoft, they use GitHub to so host their whole projects. So, what Google is that uh, GitHub is that it is a it is like it has lots of benefits, but okay, we'll move to the GitHub part. So. i will explain what is github to people who don't know what is github and what you have to learn about and what you have to do about it so whoever don't have github you just need to sign up just uh, fill you create username password and you will good to go then you have to create a repository on that github so github is used to host our code and collaborate with people on a so same code base and it uses git version control system so git version control system if you know github then you also know that there is a git uh, installed in our computer which uh, tracks all our files and folders and its changes to our uh, our uh, project so what uh, github does is that it uses git and it tracks uh, means if we wherever uh, we do changes to our code base like uh, there are hundreds of people working on the same code base uh, like uh, when you are working on uh, when we will work in a company as a web developer then uh, some uh, some uh, some emp uh, employee will uh, do home page some employee will do uh, about page or something like that for example so, so some people work on some files some people work on some files so there is sing there is no synchronization and there is no um, uh, means there is no co there, there has to be something centralized uh, that uh, people will know that okay this uh, this person has pushed the code on github and we have to pull it and we have to check it what we have to do next so and we have they have to discuss about that that okay we have to um, this people has uh, this uh, person has just done this thing and uh, we th that's why we use github to collaborate so uh, github has also open source community so what is open source is that uh, the projects are developed by the contributors all over the world 
so github uh, right now has millions of uh, co contributors which are uh, developing open source softwares which uh, and open source is what uh, that their co source code is uh, available publicly like uh, if you want to modify its source code for yourself you can download it and you can modify it and you can use it or you want to contribute or you want to uh, update that or you want to make it better so you can contribute there uh, to their uh, repository and you will get uh, your portfolio better so uh, lots of companies use uh, github uh, means check your github profile before uh, hiring you as a web developer so they will uh, see your streaks like um, uh, you do streaks on uh, snapchat so like that uh, you have to uh, do streaks on the github so this is my github profile so i will show you um, i think i have not shared the screen Okay, it is visible right now. So this is my GitHub profile. So you can see that uh, this is my readme file, and I have explained whatever uh, about uh, about myself. And these are my pinned projects that we can pin our six projects here. And he, here are the whole, whole over the when you started your account account to the today, you can see all the streaks and all the contributions here. So this is a chart, and first impression goes to this chart. Like okay, this student has done a lot of effort and lot of development. So what uh, recruiters will do that they will uh, go to your profile and they will check like okay on that day this is uh, it is showing that 26 January okay in 26 on 26 January what I have done so they can directly see that uh, created six commit in one repository share uh, internship so in this way people will know that okay you are a developer you are correct authenticated genuine developer so for that purpose and you have to whenever you commit on GitHub it will be reflected here okay so some I can click here. I can see whatever I, I have done here. So this is I have contributed to the React to Do list app and JavaScript projects. I have th three commits and two in two repositories, and also one commit uh, created one repository on that month. So it is showing me. So all our activity is tracked here, and uh, you can show your uh, skills and your projects on the GitHub. So that's that's the first uh, use we can do with GitHub. So right now I have 55 repositories. But I am currently working on Birdman, which is a uh, repository. Uh, means uh, there are like projects, so we can show people our projects. So this is uh, my website's link. Uh, it's under development, and this is uh, my uh, means all our source codes, files, folders, structure, everything is shown here. And anyone from the world can download my GitHub's uh, means my website uh, uh, source code from here. Like they can just copy this link. Or they can just download the zip file and they will extract and they will use my uh, code and we can showcase our uh, our website here like I have put it here screenshots my website's link and uh, here uh, how I build it uh, and how to run rockery every steps is here like uh, anyone will get uh, easy to do with running on localhost and uh, this is API reference like uh, there are APIs in we have to use uh, uh, like this is backend project so this is a develop in Django. So there is API to communicate with front end. So uh, what we have learned today is the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This is front end. Okay. This will. This has nothing to do with back end. So back end is what uh, what we have requested and what response is coming. That request and response are uh, transferred in the data format called JSON. Okay. So this API works uh, with JSON data format. Okay. So this is a sample JSON response. Uh, what what my app is doing right now so all the information is uh, stated here okay this is license and my uh, apps logo so like in this way you can develop your projects and you can showcase people like okay i have done this uh, you can start my uh, repository and you can download my source code and run my website okay so i can click here and i will go to my website like this uh, you can showcase your skills on github so for that purpose you can there are a lot of benefits of github but this is just a uh, little bit so this is my personal finance tracker website so you can also visit this website from my and you can also develop and contribute so i can show you how to contribute on another github uh, project Repo uh, project is also called as repository which is uh, which means like uh, 
if i can search here a uh, lots of projects on github like i have to show see uh, there is a wells media browser okay uh, okay sorry wells media player so wells media player i can see its projects or whatever i think uh, they are topics and there is a for what is our repositories here i think uh, they have uh, wells model and wells okay this is the source code of wells media player okay this is media player and this is a means wells media player is open source so whatever is the source code and the development these are 560 contributors from all over the world yeah and they have contributed to the development of this application if you want to contribute you can go to here they have i think they have closed their uh, contributions no, they are all over 11 hours ago there is one commit so here is i am not seeing the issue step so we c what you can do is that we can go to issue step like firefox i can see your firefox Firefox for uh, Firefox for iOS. Okay, this is a issues tab. Okay, there are 917 issues right now, which are open. Okay, so if you are uh, beginner friendly, so you can search here tag as this is automation, this is contribution, this bug. So here you can see any which is beginner friendly. So you are beginner. So this is something like uh, this is a issue opened by someone. So you can go see your issue is synchronized with Jira task. Okay. So here is what the people will discuss about issues and there are maintainers of this repository. So what uh, you will do is that uh, you will ask them to assign you this uh, issue. You will solve this issue and you will get contributed. So this is called as open source contribution. So this is some error like uh, user is not redirected to the newly open tab so this are small error this is a small error so what is that um, this is contributor this is repository I mean, this issue is closed now so there are discussions going on there are pull requests going on so this is a open source community right now on github so you will get a lot of advantages using github so what i will do is that i will go to home page okay i will create new repository from this option yeah. and what I will do is that I will create a bootcamp repository name 6 yeah. okay this name is available to me so description I will not public the file is not needed to me right now okay so what I will create I will create this repository okay everyone is getting can deploy in chat box ok yes rush same ok thanks for replying ok so what i am seeing is here is that uh, there is a link stick base link or ssh link so i have done my ssh linking here in my pc so I will use SSH link. So I, what I will do is that I will open this folder in File Explorer or website, and I will stop this live server. Stop live server. Okay. I will right click and stop live server. Click on stop live server. I will keep open it, and I will go to this folder. Here is folder on the desk on my desktop. Bootcamp 6 February. Okay. I will open new windows terminal here, which is a powershell terminal okay <coughs> so what is this okay. so i will first come command is git init you have to init uh, in initialize the git repository so i will put git init here initialize empty git repository okay so it's a reply so what i will do is that git remote add origin if you don't know any commands you can simply go to this here are all these commands are to get in it add readme commit and get remote add origin okay 
I will just copy this, but I will tell you what to do. Okay. Get remote add origin and our link which we have copied. So I will copy this link, SSH link from here. Okay. So now our link is added to our uh, git uh, repository. Then I will add git status. Check our remote status. So all the folders and files are in untracked position, untracked state. So I will move them in tracker. So I will add git at origin. <coughs> you have to install in your PC git client command line interface and uh, you have to configure your uh, what uh, github credentials or you have to link your sshk with github account then you will do these steps easily okay git add that i will again git status okay it is showing that uh, all files are added to the staging area now what i will do is that i will git commit I'll commit these changes. I'll commit dash m with message. Um, website is ready. Is is ready. Okay. So git commit create mode. Okay. And I will git push origin. Okay. okay. I will just put this command and. Uh, everything will go online if i refresh this page okay you can see there is no content if i click on code it is refreshing but uh, it is showing me some commands and you have to do this and that so i will what do i will do is uh, i will get push origin when this command will push our code from our local repository to github repository so i will enter so it is uh, telling that source expectation does not match any so what happened is that when i get status so get status okay it is saying that on branch master but my github account or repository is on uh, what it is showing that git push origin main means it is on main branch so i have to move myself on onto the main branch and i will do is that git branch branch nsp name i think this is the command now acha git checkout checkout minus p okay switch to a new branch okay i will get status okay and it's showing me on branch main nothing to commit working trickily okay. this should be our uh, response before uploading to github so i will what i will do is that i will simply write git push origin main and i will enter so this code will be uploaded to github okay so github okay it's fine so i will refresh here so our all our folders and files are here right so i will close this terminal i don't need it right now so whatever you can see that this is our uh, css image jst all the folders are here okay like this if i open the image folder i will see this image logo.png similar here so all the code is synchronized with my github repository to my github repository so what i will do is that i have to host this website on github pages so github pages is a uh, one functionality provided by github so we can host our static website free of cost on github on github pages okay so for that we have to go to settings of our go to the settings of our website and we have to go to the pages okay then we have to select our branch so i will select main branch there is branch in uh, git uh, version control system so i will there is only one branch for me and the uh, root is uh, okay root okay github is currently disabled Okay, save. I will save this. Okay. Your site is ready to publish at this URL. Okay, and uh, there is custom domain. So, if I have a domain, I have purchased a domain from domain registrar. 
then I can simply put it domain here and there uh, I will update the DNS record at the domain registrar and the domain is will be changed from this to my purchase domain okay so this functionality is also provided okay so I will just click over here and it will okay so this is there is a event a github pages site here so I will wait for two to three minutes to be hosted online okay so I think everything is fine upon the new tab okay see our website is ready online this is a https encryption also so we have don't have to install a ssl certificate and all which uh, hosting providers will cost you around 700 to 800 uh, rupees for uh, a year for your hosting of static site but it is free of cost you just have to buy domain if you want to host on your domain okay so our website is online you can check our website I will put in chat box and you can okay. when they say to add our GitHub link which you can show here uh, where to add can you explain again what you are asking about you can check this website on your PC because uh, our website is not responsive and we haven't code for uh, code CSS for our mobile okay so you can check it uh, it's online now every page is working I think uh, linking is not done so I will again check what is the error happening here okay. so what is saying is that if anything goes wrong you just open console and it will show you whatever, whatever the errors are there so it is showing that image slash logo slash page logo or thing is not available okay unrecognized feature interest cohort so we have to make some changes to our uh, website right okay so i will try to realize that this link is not available about dot html okay how to put dot dot there, there is mistake in relative path of our hrf attribute okay So I will open my terminal again and I will check if anything is updated in our bit or not. So what we have to do is that our terminal is open. We will again check it uh, with status. Okay. It is taking to talking that about the HTML is modified. Git diff. So we want we can see that what is changed this line is deleted and green line is added so everything is tracked by the git so we don't have to care about anything if you have any doubt you can just do git log okay so git define git log so uh, what i will do is that git add dot git status so yes i will tell about your task but for some time i will Sir, can you show how to add responsiveness to this weapon? Uh, for responsiveness, you have to use media queries and it's very tempting in process uh, for me and we have very short time remaining. So, uh, today it will be not covered, but we will cover if you, if um, majority of students have doubts regarding that, we will conduct next session. Okay. Right now, okay, sir. Okay, so right now only home page is visible, and I have update. I'm updating the path. Updated. You can search uh, media queries and responsiveness about uh, Google on Google. So we'll get uh, lots of resources and 
W3 schools is very good if you want to basic uh, modifications like navigation bar and footer for that matter. Uh, there is all everything available on W3 schools. So you can see how, how what properties and what uh, what classes here they have used for the responsiveness and what uh, uh, screen width they have used. In uh, there is media query uh, thing in uh, CSS. There we have to define for which uh, width we have to apply this. Uh, CSS okay for specific width there is specific type of CSS so that will be applied by the browser so you just have to push the changes and your website will be updated auto automatically I have to wait some one to three more minutes and we will update it. I think uh, there should be no problem right now. Okay. think there is problem regarding this okay js script dot js script i have to look Okay, about page is updated, so I can simply put dot dot everywhere. This is, uh, what this dot dot will do that uh, it will move out of this folder means I am right now inside I am op I have opened contact dot html so I am inside t folder but I have to move outside the t folder and then go to uh, sorry I don't have to do this all over this so I will if I will click here I will click here to the wrong path ok sorry so if it as it is I will start to remove this ok I have to check everything ok this will be out of this folder so out of dollar slash ok image is out of folder ok what is everything is right here coin products
will be updated soon. I can see there three commits. Okay, it's live now. I think everything will work fine. Products is working. Okay. Yeah, there is some there is some mistake here. Okay. I will rectify this again, but uh, our website is live. I will change. Our, I don't have to waste time again. So, I'll close this. Okay. After session, I will correct the all parts correctly. Okay. So, our next part is uh, I think we have to wrap up our session. Some things are remaining. I will explain and. I will share this PPT too with you, link of this PPT and I will explain your tasks that how, to, what to do with your internship, task submission. So, okay. Okay. I think my screen is freezed. I will share again. are the things you have to do with your github repository like write clean and readable code structure your source code properly or document your code like i have uh, noted the api reference uh, in my bottom end repository so like that then add uh, main documentation add proper license guidelines etc etc okay so this is a screenshot likewise you have when you build your content or backend uh, project you have to put your screenshot and how to make a good looking repository so i have to say again like that for you it will be motivation like in 2021 stack or flow developer survey so in top countries our india is the second country who has the highest developer in web development and uh, the most used programming language for professional developers is javascript so uh, means you are in the right path that these things are happening right now and you are in the right time and in the right direction so the javascript is a, one of the means one of the trending and topmost languages from the last five years because we can develop a backend and frontend in uh, with javascript like if you learn only javascript you can build frontend in react so react framework uh, react, uh, react library and react is having a lot of frameworks javascript frameworks so and also in backend you can use node.js to build your APIs and your backend services. So, JavaScript is just you learn JavaScript and HTML, CSS, and you will pretty good to be a good developer. If uh, you don't want to use JavaScript, then for backend you can use a lot of language like uh, Ruby, Python. Uh, then there is Java. So, if you if you want to be a full stack developer, then you can choose uh, JavaScript as your primary language, and for your uh, school or college curriculum you can use their uh, language like java c c++ for dsa and your uh, for your uh, competitive programming thing 
for that you can use C++ plus Java but uh, for uh, development purpose if you are uh, starting right now then pretty much you can start with JavaScript and you are uh, you will be as good as a Python developer or any other language developer backend so that's the good thing about uh, JavaScript so web developer salary in, in India so right now there is a web developer survey according to the web developer survey we have a 3 lakh to 7 lakhs uh, average salary for a web developer in India well, it may be uh, front end or back end if you are full stack developer then it will go around up to 10 lakhs per annum so this is the advantage and if you go to abroad then there are a lot of uh, packages in crores for the f for developers and you can also do uh, you can also do a open source contribution and you people will or organizations will sponsor your uh, will sponsor you through github that option is also good because uh, lots of people are uh, day and night contributing to github and uh, organizations will pay them as their repositories are getting uh, built accordingly so you can have a uh, lots of career options and lots of career scope in web development so uh, we have to discuss now front end of uh, frameworks what are front end frameworks so front end frameworks are what we have discussed right now is html css javascript but these are not enough you have to build your apps in frameworks like any one of the choose any one of these frameworks and uh, react is a library but uh, it's a framework is next.js and likewise uh, so there are uh, lots of frameworks uh, you have to pick any one of it and you have to master it because uh, there are uh, lots of uh, advantages using these frameworks like uh, your you can be the static web uh, static uh, single page website your pages will not reload and your website will be as fast uh, very fast if you use this front end framework so you have to choose any one of these uh, front-end frameworks to learn after you learn JavaScript and HTML CSS and uh, for uh, all these frameworks are uh, mostly in JavaScript language so what you have to do is that you have to first uh, clear your JavaScript basics then you can move to uh, learning uh, Node.js uh, Node package manager how to use it uh, then you can uh, start uh, learning these uh, frameworks for JavaScript as front-end frameworks and uh, then there are backend frameworks backend frameworks are the support to follow the frontend frameworks and they will help you to uh, to make website dynamic uh, now we have uh, hosted our website which is completely static there is no moving component or changing component on our website so uh, what uh, what uh, backend is doing that uh, it will change your content according to the user so if uh, some user logs in to the facebook he will show his uh, he will be seen uh, his relevant posts according to his uh, his uh, his preferences so likewise there is dynamic thing uh, along with that so it is handled by the backend so like youtube youtube is showing our videos and we as we scroll we get uh, new videos accordingly but uh, right now we hosted our website and we have on home page that one static uh, uh, image but we can't change that image if you want to change that image according to the user or uh, according to if you want to use change that then we have to use backend for our website so we have uh, backend is used to make pages dynamically website dynamic so that's why you can choose any backend so i will prefer uh, node.js because it is a javascript uh, backend framework so you can run javascript in your local machine so right now javascript is available to only browser but that browsers uh, chrome browsers fate engine is uh, will be on your on your PC and you can use that uh, weight engine in your backend uh, in your backend uh, processing so that's why node is used and along with that express is uh, express library is used to make request and response according to the our uh, requirement so there is another uh, uh, another two frameworks like Django and flask which are uh, uh, written uh, which are written in Python so you can you have to learn Python for them then Laravel Laravel you have to use PHP and for rails you have to use ruby for spring you have to use uh, java so spring boot java so like that uh, you can choose any one of the backend frameworks for full stack development first uh, you have to put all over uh, all the basics are in html and css and javascript after that you you will learn how to use this backend and frontend frameworks so first you have to clear html css javascript then any frontend framework and backend framework you can start simultaneously learning so I will prefer Node.js because it's JavaScript. So you don't have to uh, learn another extra language for the 
uh, backend uh, development so okay so then there are web developer responsibilities so what responsibilities are for full stack developer in organizations so if you are joining as a full stack developer in any uh, company or any job uh, opportunities are there then as a web developer full stack web developer you have to know, you have to do or you have to know at least what is front end development back end development you have to know uh, the database management how to how our website is working how our database is managed and how how the architecture is that then then web deployment means uh, what uh, what uh, we have done is right now is that we have deployed our website to github pages likewise we have to uh, host it on uh, cloud uh, platforms or or on our uh, web development uh, platforms like virtual machines or somewhere around that so like api development so uh, communication between front end and back back end is now happens with the api uh, which is uh, which uses javascript object notation json so we have to uh, know api development then cloud computing cloud computing is like uh, we have uh, uh, you know, uh, you may be know that aws and google cloud and azure uh, microsoft azure like that these are cloud platforms you have to learn them because uh, lots of companies and organizations are using them to host uh, their uh, platforms then uh, version control version control is uh, like uh, we have done right now which is git so you have to know what, how git works how what are the git commands what are the staging areas what are the uh, uh, tools and uh, what we have we can do with version control and how to collaborate with people then uh, the last thing is ci cd test and testing so ci cd is uh, continuous integration and continuous deployment so what uh, is that is that continuous integration and deployments means what uh, i push the code on uh, repository means uh, i push the code on from local to the github and github at, at that uh, on the github it is tested tested automatically like if any bug is not there or anything everything is working fine and if it is working fine it is deployed automatically so i just uh, have to uh, make sure make some changes and push and it will be deployed automatically on our website so this uh, thing is used by every uh, every organization like uh, youtube if you if something has to update if some if some ui has to be updated on youtube they just uh, use uh, push the code and the ci cd is uh, and testing environments are ready for their uh, for them so it will it will automatically deploy to to their website so like this uh, you have to know all these things to become a full stack developer so these are the learning resources for your and the, there is a roadmap for uh, you so this is w3 schools link will be open and you will get all the roadmaps and all the uh, things you have to know for uh, to become full stack developer so there is uh, another link where you can get courses and then there is free freecodecamp.com so you can get free code i mean so Uh, coding uh, blogs and articles all about uh, and how to do things uh, in <coughs> in uh, web development and there is mozilla uh, mozilla or mozilla's uh, mdn docs so these docs are used to know anything basics about uh, html request and anything about html so you will be learning these resources so yogita is asking what's your project assignment so i will be telling you so you can connect with me on these links and if you have any questions uh, i will answer you you can type your questions in chat box so uh, i will tell you what is your task around with with college ranker internship program so for this uh, college ranker internship program you have uh, done your first task, uh, task like uh, sharing uh, offer letters and um, okay you have shared offer letters now you have to do is that uh up to 26 february uh, 26 february is the last uh, date for task submission in that uh, i will be sharing you with uh, five projects okay i will share you what are these projects so so right now you can see these are the five projects uh, from these five projects you have to do any two projects okay and send uh, the, its drive link or github link to the form shared with you uh, that form will be shared soon okay so what you have to do is that you have to do any two projects out, out of this of assignments okay i have given five projects you have to choose any two and you have to make project and and you also have to shoot one video of, of that project and uh, screen video and you have to post it on linkedin okay and that link also i have to post on the google form so that's your task uh, and you have to submit it up to 26 february okay 
so the first is the landing page second one is the event page third one is the personal portfolio page fourth one is the restaurant website fifth one is the music store page you have to make any out of these two, five projects any two projects okay you have to make any two projects out of these five projects and you have to make a drive folder link or you can host it on github you have to share that link any one of this link drive or uh, github onto the google form we shared and uh, you have to share it on screen recording on linkedin that's your final task and uh, then you have to pay the 100 rupees fees as mentioned in the on the website and uh, you will get your internship certificate okay so that's the final thing i have to say and if you have any doubts you can ask me if you have anything to know okay session recording okay yeah session recording will be provided to you um uh, it will be uploaded soon and you will get youtube link okay if you have any doubts or uh, anything you want to know or any doubt about technical like html css or anything you want to ask about career or anything about internship program hello i am not getting any offer later hello okay okay you will be getting a google form link where you have to put your name and you will get offer letter soon okay i will be sharing okay. i will share that where do i have to post the video yes you have to automate yes you have to post uh, post both the projects uh, projects video and any two from the five this project. video on the whatsapp group what what again can you share this uh, ppt on whatsapp group yeah yeah i will be sharing this okay no problem i will share this link and this uh, this projects links also okay okay you have to do recording while coding the project. no you don't have to coding just you have to show the final pro project output like a screen you have to screen record the uh, your website like you have to just show the source code in that uh, each and every file that you have coded and uh, your uh, final uh, localhost uh, that website okay just you have to do that you have to do recording okay okay i will be sharing projects uh, link on the group that docs link can do no you can't do the group work you have to do it individually sir can you show the sample internship certificate which we are going to get mm, right now it's not available to me but okay i will be asking to onkar and you will get okay okay sir. thank you any doubts individual or individual you have to do individually you can make a basic landing page or you can take a reference from github or you can take reference from any google blog or any website but you have to make it your own your unique project okay. yes any two from the five project any two pro any two you can make as per your choice like how to design your buy it yourself okay there are no restrictions like we have to do this and we have to do that you can use anything just you have to use javascript html css and you can make any number of pages any number of or you can stay on the thing uh, you can just make a single page but you have to make it right and unique okay what should be the duration of video for project okay video must be 30 to 40 seconds or it may be 10 seconds because you just have to show this uh, each and every file on the video and your final on the browser localhost run video recording means recording no 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 recording while writing code just like a uh, recording at the time of uh, your completion of project just uh, you show the uh, source code means you open the vs code you have opened the vs code you have open each and every file you just uh, showing first file then click on second file then click on third file with that uh, you will be that uh, screen recording 
will get all the files and all the source code like uh, you have written and then you will show final uh, your uh, website okay it may be maximum 10 seconds video there is no thing like writing code okay. sir can we use bootstrap yeah yeah you can use bootstrap if you are known to css and bootstrap and all these things if your basic is clear then you can use anything okay okay sir thank you if anyone has any doubt or uh, doubt is not clear so okay you get a clear okay I think Thank you sir for conducting this program. Yes, yes, welcome, welcome. So I think uh, you have uh, cleared all the doubts and everything is okay. So uh, just do your task and okay. Thank you. Uh, you can leave the session now. Uh, any one question is that can you use any front end framework? Yes, you can use a uh, React or but some but that will be very difficult to assessment for assessment because you have we have to run it locally again so no uh, you you can't use front end framework okay you can use bootstrap or any other libraries which are stat uh, means if you have if you want to use font awesome or something like that you can use that but uh, no front end frameworks like react and all react next js explanation is compulsory no 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 explanation not needed explanation not needed you are you are just having html css javascript files so there is no explanation needed you just have to show or you can if you want to explain you can explain but there, that's not necessary thing you just have to show that this is my this is first file this is second file this is third file this is called means you have you have open vs code and then you have opened your chrome tab that's it you just have to uh, means lo run on the run that project on localhost with live server and then show the final output result on the chrome tab sir we have to create a scene hello yes uh, someone is asking doubt we create single single page static uh, website or uh, web to link or many pages and create some functionalities uh no you don't have to any create any functionalities you just have to make a static page and you can make a single page website or make a two three pages website it's up to your choice but you have to make it unique so like uh, you don't have to copy anything just you have to make your make it your own and you have to learn things accordingly and this link shared with you with w3 schools and all you just have to if you just complete that uh, two, two, two to three modules now you will get uh, all the all the things like uh, what to uh, have to do what have to, what what are the things you have to use you have to use and you will made it accordingly if you are uh, if you have done this previously then you you have you don't need a much time like 2 to 3 hours is sufficient for it for making two websites if you don't know html css then you have to learn html you means uh, most of the tags uh, html tags we have done today but uh, if you want to learn more then you can use w3 schools and everything is right now is uh, after uh, html you have to just uh, know the different types of like there is grid system in css then css grid it is called as then flex we have done flex today so there are a lot of things a uh, lot of concept in css you have to understand for uh, and you you uh, your website must know there is no necessity that your website has to be responsive responsive means what it may be uh, correctly visible in the mobile means uh, small screens and in the large screens okay so it is not necessary that you have to make it responsive if it is uh, uh, looking fine in your uh, uh, pc or your computer in your computer uh, screen then it's fine okay any other doubt If you don't have any doubts, uh, you can leave now. The session is uh, concluded.
hello is there anyone having any doubt uh, you can leave the session Yes. 